Hi, my name is Ty and I'm one of the customer service agents here at Can Do Printing and today I was asked to shoot a real quick video just going over some paper options that you can either order online or get a custom quote from us. Uh, first I'm going to go ahead and start off the video by going through one of the thinnest papers that we can print through our six color Ryobi that's a a three-quarter size press that prints on a sheet of a 24 by 29 and this paper right in front of me is a 50 pound offset. This paper is also known as a 20 pound bond which you will uh, normally print at your in-home desk uh, printer. Um, a lot of times people will print letterheads just like we did on there or just um, you know just a, a real quick black over black or uh, just the, one of the thinnest sheets that you can print that's very inexpensive. Uh, just keeping it on offset types paper. Next is our uh, linens. Um, this is a uh, cream linen sheet that has got a foil on it that has a blue border. Um, this type of paper is a little bit thicker than our 50 pound offset here. This sheet is on a 80 pound linen cream sh type sheet of paper which we, we print on all the time. Uh, this linen is actually on a type of red stock that is um, that also has got a foil on it as well. After going through that, I guess we'll start talking about our coated stocks. Um, a lot of times um, people will print their brochures on like an 80 pound gloss text, which is also known as 80 pound gloss book. Uh, a lot of times you'll find bro trifold brochures on these types of stocks. They're pretty thin, but however, they, they get the job done. After, after an 80 pound, there is not an option here that uh, I can show you for ex uh, an example, but you can, uh, the next step up would be a um, 100 pound gloss book or 100 pound gloss text. The only difference is that the paper is a little bit thicker. Um, it's really hard to uh, tell, but obviously the reason why you would want to go to a 100 pound gloss book on a brochure or maybe inside of a magazine is because of the fact that there might be a lot of coverage of ink on that sheet of paper and you don't want it to bleed through as easy. So, and it also is a little bit of a nicer stock. However, that's why you would maybe want to bump it up. After that, you've got your uh, 80 pound gloss cover. Now the difference between the 80 pound gloss text and the gloss cover is uh, pretty substantial. Um, the uh, key wording in here is the cover and the text or the cover and the uh, book. Uh, this is a can do printing postcard that we've printed that's on a uh, that's on 80 pound gloss uh, cover. As you can see it's definitely uh, more thicker than this 80 pound gloss book. Um, however, it's just a, a, a nicer sheet for mailing purposes. It's one of the thinnest types of mailers that you can that you can actually do. So if you're ever in the mailing business, um, you're going to want to end up going with the 80 pound gloss cover. After you go from the 80 pound gloss cover, uh, the next step up is the 100 pound gloss cover. Um, uh, I know that in front of me here, this is a uh, a calendar that we did for a customer and I know that they ended up using a uh, uh, 100 pound gloss cover for the cover of this calendar and then they ended up using an 80 pound gloss book for the inside pages here on this. Um, the next step up from a 100 pound gloss cover is a 120 pound gloss cover. And we normally print 100 pound, 120 pound gloss cover on things like our pocket folders, which is also known in the printing industry as 12 point. Um, for the 100 pound gloss cover, uh, you could also name that as a 10 point. And on the 80 pound gloss cover for this postcard, you can name that as a 8 point. So just to give you an idea, the, the higher the points go, the thicker the paper is. So 8 point, 10 point, 12 point. Um, you can also go into 14 point and 16 point and yes we have been known to actually even uh, print on 24 point uh, but it's primarily just going into thicker stocks of, uh, of paper. Um, 
I'm not sure if you can hear that or not, but um, obviously this is a lot stiffer type of paper. Um, you can see my our letterhead is in there that just fell over, and um, it can definitely hold, I would say, maybe 10, 20 sheets of uh, the 50-pound offset or the 20-pound bond inside of them. Um, these types of papers in front of me, um, usually in the printing industry, the thicker the paper, the nicer the job. Um, so hopefully that this uh, video has helped you out on just knowing some different types of stocks and what we what we name them here at Can Do. By all means, if there's any questions that you have about these, uh, let us know. Um, you, you can either call in or email us. The uh, website again is at CanDoPrinting.com. Phone number is 602-233-1111. And uh, by all means, thank you very much for uh, taking the time to watch this video. If you would like to check out some of our other videos by all means go to canduprinting.com look on the left hand side of the web website look underneath support click on videos and we would be more than happy to uh, show you the other types of videos that we have to offer thank you